A nuisance bear is a term used by wildlife officers or agencies to describe any bear that has lost its fear of humans. There's been hundreds, if not a thousand films made about polar bears in Churchill, Manitoba, which is the subarctic. And so it felt like there was this natural opportunity to try to experiment with something and do things differently without those traditional uh, elements that you would find in wildlife documentary. I think that we tried to make this film in a, in a couple of different ways over a period of about seven years. And it wasn't until our most recent trip that we sort of realized that by putting the camera on our car and driving around with the bears for about four to five weeks continuously, where we're gonna yield enough material that could actually make it into a film. We realized that maybe we had something special when we captured that shot of the bear crossing the road. There's a caravan of cars that have gathered in anticipation for this. In the background, you have um, a planet Earth vehicle with a Cineflex mounted. Photographer turns around not only is that interesting because they're obviously not afraid of this bear, but this bear to that photographer and to the photographers on the other side of the truck, it's only valuable when it's in the brush and it's in the wilderness with telephone poles or humans in the background. It's not valuable. Whatever moments aren't interesting to the traditional filmmaker, wildlife filmmaker or photographer, th th those are the moments that we were most interested in. The concept for us was to start in the wilderness and sort of move into the urban environment seamlessly. In this sequence, it was important that we reverse the predator-prey relationship. And to try to remain as close to the bear's perspective as we can. Because it's less clear who is the predator here. It's just fun to look at these vehicles as these other animals that are sort of part of the landscape, they're like part part human, part car, so they're sort of like these androids. There's a bit of absurdism in this chase as well. It just seems a bit futile, like these people are chasing around this bear with a helicopter. This film is about a polar bear wanting to eat at the dump and it can't get in. But then this film is actually about, you know, how we share space with animals and how, how complicated that relationship can be. I think sometimes this film seems sort of serious and Jack and I are like both really funny people, I think, or I like to think. Um, so any like bits of humor that we could put into it, we try to, and we're always really happy when people notice that it's, it's a bit of a cheeky film too.